Hello and welcome back to the program. I am once again your host Joe. Today we're going to continue with more Fallout New Vegas. When last time we left off, uh, I recruited a ghoul named Dean Domino. And I apparently was mistaken about who his voice actor was. Are you good to jump? I want to jump. Good. Okay. Uh, he sounded just like Mark Hamill. It was not Mark Hamill. Oh yeah, okay. Alright. That encumbered me, didn't it? By one pound. One pound. Uh, these are heavy. Christine, can you use a gun? Uh, she still appears to be kitted for spear. We'll see what happens if we get into a tussle, if she pulls out a gun or a spear. I will continue to do my sneaking around rather than, uh, you know. God, I still can't believe I hit a tripwire over here. And then it just, like... Did, did it just drop everything all along the way? That don't make a whole lot of sense. want to use this vending machine. Oh. Don't stand in the cloud, please. Alright, give me that. And it looks like you're not going to use that pistol, so I'll take that back too. Okay, we are going to turn in. Uh, some casual wear, I guess? No, I want to keep that casual wear. I thought for sure. I have, I have, uh, business wear. Is that not... I give you the business wear, will you put it on? No? Okay. God, the bear trap fish does better damage than my spear. Of course, that's just a matter of time until that changes, because I have a couple of cosmic knives, and in theory I can make knives. Alright. Bear trap fist it is. Just run through it. As long as we don't breathe too much, it seems we're okay. Oh, 
but that's an insidious trap right there. You step through, it sets off the gun, and then the gun shoots that, like, gas canister, which will explode. So there's no, like, actual explosives, just a thing that explodes. If that makes sense. Fast travel in here? No, that would be useful. Alright, well the good news is I cleared out these traps already, so unless someone's going back and like resetting the traps, then I should be in the clear. I know I 100% skipped some things in there, but I do not care. This place sucks. We take all my stuff. Alright, well that fist weapon seems silly. He's unconscious. Now to knock him out even more. Uh, okay. I see a chip. And cloud residue. Okay, so that's the way back to the fountain, and also the medical district. I'm up. <laughs> Good work, you took his head clean off. Doing me proud. Uh, oh god. The cloud residue is weighing me down, isn't it? Here, take, um... God, what do I want to give you? Have another dirty water. is just one of the things I read in order to gain stats. Okay. Ghost sight weighs nothing. Medicine increased by four. There we go. That's not bad. Fifteen 
19 black magazines. I'm back up to some a decent number of bobby pins at least. Thank God for that. Hey, Dean. So, what's your story, beautiful? This ought to be interesting. Don't, uh, don't talk much, do you? Mm, all right, then. I'll just wallflower it over here. Well, that was interesting. I just realized. Uh, wait, what's better for me? Uh, unarmed is 16, or unarmed is 18, melee is 16. Jesus. I am not set up for this at all. Okay, take all of these blank magazines. And th these conductors weigh 10? It's just metal. This gate to the Sierra Madre is sealed. Locked. For now. Do as I say and it won't be locked for much longer. I'm just looking. I'm not trying to leave. Investigating. Ooh, there's food in there. That's handy. So I want to go back to the medical clinic, which is in the other direction. I know what you're thinking. Joe, why do you want to go back to the medical clinic? And the answer to that may surprise you. It may not, though. It's because I know where the workstation is there. And I have shit to craft. I know relatively where the thing is. Uh, also saving. Because I don't know, maybe things have reactivated in here. I will absolutely not be shocked if I walk in. Ugh. Okay, that sucks. Uh, Braxo Cleaner, I need you. I never should have combined those knives. If I had a third knife, it would be useful. I can I can open this desk. All right, let's use the hot plate to make some more ghost sight. That should help with the weight right there. I think? Maybe. I 
much does a jar of cloud residue weigh as compared to uh, ghost sight anyway? Do I have any just jars of cloud residue on me? I don't. But ghost sight weighs nothing. Food. I know you don't want to be here. It's fine, we'll be quick. I'm just looking for the basement. Which is not that direction, that's where I found you. What is my medicine at anyway? I feel as though I should be able to help her. Okay. Uh, Auto-inject stim pack. That ain't bad. Sure. Do I? Oh. Okay. Uh, magazines, magazines. Uh, let's make some tales of sh wait. Do I not know how to make, like, the, the fist-fighting magazine? Melee weapon, medicine, science, energy weapon. Oh, that's just a permanent upgrade. Okay. Oh no, since I don't have a magazine to copy, it doesn't count. Oh no, I didn't memorize the other books. Okay, here's the plan. Give me the water, give me the water, give me the wine. And you can take... Uh, let's see. All those blank magazines. Take the Does it use turpentine? I don't think it uses turpentine. The wonder glue though for sure. Sure, you can have one of those too. You know, since you're using a melee weapon and all. I wish I had another one of those stupid knives. So I think, oh what, I need like three of them to make that strange knife spear thing? Uh, cosmic knife clean, cosmic knife spear. I need one more. One more!
Well, we will be hanging on until we find it. Um, I like that the guy who's in charge is like, hey, go find three people and bring them back here and do a heist for me. And it's like, I can find the three people, but, um, you know, they're not, uh, I can't have them all come with me at the same time. No, don't work that way. Alright, so I want to go south. I guess I gotta go around. And then south. Yeah, I thought for sure, though, that this guy was Mark Hamill. Well, now, if it isn't my ball, chain, and dog collar rolled all into one. Why? Survival. I still needed to leave the residential area to scrounge up supplies, and I don't like taking chances. The villa's dangerous. So I left weapons and stims in case I got in a tight spot. And of course you show up putting your mitts on everything. I suppose this qualifies as an emergency, so I'm not complaining. Much. You sound like he's doing, you know, like his, jo his Joker voice. I still need to eat. At least I think I do. The villa provides. Even if it's not as glamorous as the Cantina Madrid. Once I, well, realized what you could scrounge up around here, I had a lot of time to experiment. Not the best chef, but... Well, here's the mix, if you can stomach it. I call it a Sierra Madre Martini. Scrape some cloud residue off the walls, mash it in a tin can with some junk food from the machines, and hold your nose and down it. There's electric hot plates around if you can't find a campfire to mix it at. Also, there's other recipes you can do with the cloud residue, although it might take a hardier survivalist than me to brew them. I stick to martinis. Dean has taught you the Sierra Madre Martini perk, allowing you to mix cloud residue and junk food in a tin can at a campfire or hot plate. For a surprisingly strong, restorative, and disgusting drink. It's your time, and if you want to spend it chatting, not much I can do about it. Not one for fighting, if we can avoid it. Still wasn't bad at the pistol range, and over the years, I've learned how to handle a knife. And explosives a bit. A bit. Made a lot of mistakes along the way. Still have my fingers, though. Tourists, you bet. They don't stay long, and they don't stay alive long. If they survive the cloud, the ghost people, the traps, then greed takes over, and they start sizing each other up for funeral suits. Oh. Sure. First they figure they can get out, escape. Then they start thinking it over, start thinking about how they can have it all. They start weighing the odds, taking risks, and then taking each other out. Bomb collars are not. Although, it's odd. The bomb collars weren't linked before like they are now. Guess someone learned what the problem was. Well, considering my life's on the line too, yeah. 
a few things. First off, keep everyone together. Keep checking behind you. Make sure your partners are following. Don't let them wander. Also, don't go running crazy everywhere. Almost every inch of this town is lethal. So if you're not sure, take it real slow. And speaking of slow, don't go shouting or attracting attention. Go quiet. The ghost people find you, it's over. Alive's a tricky word. The locals, the ghost people, not sure it applies to them. They're a little uncivilized. They don't talk much, as in at all. Tried talking to them, bribing them, leaving food, nothing. In the years since, they haven't changed their approach, but I sure have. They catch you, they drag you into the cloud, and you're not coming back out. After that, having your necktie go off would be mercy. My advice? Stay out of their way. They don't die easy. They don't? Friend, there's more mysteries in heaven and earth. Wait, no. There is more between heaven and earth. Oh, forget it. I'd sooner ask what makes me an undying son of a bitch than spend any thought as to why they crawl to life here. I'm counting myself lucky. I still have my faculties. They sure don't. Then again, they may not have had the focus I do. Always had the Sierra Madre to keep my mind occupied. Most folks, they don't have the same drive, the same need. Not worth my time. Pretty much ghost people before the bomb, now ghost people after. Whatever we do, don't rile them up. Normally, there's only a few, maybe a pack. There's more out there, a lot more. If they find out someone's trespassing, it'd be shaking a hornet's nest. Don't want to think how many of them could fill these streets. Of course you do. Let's. Residential area, clinic, police station. Should keep away from the police station. It's a ghost people hangout. Salida del Sol, Puesta del Sola, East Town, West Town. Sunrise and sunset. Or were when the streets and sky weren't covered with toxic gas. Ghost people don't come into the villa much. West town and east town, though, they're thick with the cloud and ghost people. Like hunting grounds. The cloud showed up after the bomb, I think. I got used to it in small doses. Now it covers the city. Over the years, it kept climbing up out of the Sierra Madre until it was curtains for the sun. Didn't see the sky again. Doesn't seem to bother the ghost people. Can't see through it too well, though. So sometimes I can use the cloud for cover. If I get desperate. Um... Sure. Those little company stores. Sinclair's toy boxes. Put in the casino chip. Get a treat. Like you're some dog doing tricks. Take any of the casino chips, put them into the machine, and you'll get something out. A snack, a cola, something to mend a tear in your shirt. Sometimes you have to know exactly what to ask for. Other times, there's codes for, uh, unconventional items. For emergency. If it's an emergency, you can get chems for any, uh, condition. Sinclair left that for doctors and trained professionals, not the common folk. Even security and maintenance could get special supplies out of them. Staff had codes on little cards they could use to unlock them. Around. Don't have much use for them myself. Not worth the risk to get them. I got all the basics covered, as long as I have the chips to pay for them. I don't need much. 
Uh, that's probably good. <clears throat> okay, from the sounds of things, I could probably get ammo out of one of these machines if I uh, figure out the police station. Which is, let's see, police station in the villa, the map, all the way over there. Well, right, well, here's what I'm going to do. This trash can, I'm going to take the two cups out of it. I'll then put the two cups into this trash can. Right? This can. This is going to be my locker. I don't have a whole lot of... Uh, let's see, I'll, I'll stash the spare spear knife. Uh, I'll, I'll combine those two, uh, just so that I've got that. Uh, I got a little bit of ammo for that, sure. Um, eyeglasses, grimy business wear, okay. Alright, now for the, the heavy stuff. Oh, that's useful. Okay. I don't need those. Uh, I probably don't need a lot of duct tape. I'll toss those all in there. Same with these and those. The paint gun, the pencil. Keep the pencil. Pilot light, scapel, scrap electronics, scrap metal, turpentine. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna keep the Abraxo cleaner. You know, just in case I happen upon the things that I need in order to make that stupid, uh... The, the big spear. And let's read that magazine. Uh, duck and cover, there we go. Explosives increased by four. Alright, we're back down to 123 out of 210. And you have... You have my supplies for making additional magazines. Which I will also toss into the garbage can. I think I should find tin cans. Oh. Exactly what we need. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll take that tin can for the time being and uh, we'll, we'll experiment with it later. For now, we are headed in the wrong direction. The west is where we gotta go. But also, that feels like a good place to leave off for now. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I have once again been your host, Joe, and I will see you next time with more Fallout New Vegas. <laughs>